We will begin by configuring a set dominant flip-flop in Network 1 of an existing block in our TIA portal project. We first insert the trigger element for the reset input of the RS flip-flop. We then drag and drop a set dominant, or RS, flip-flop from the instruction catalog onto the line behind the reset trigger element. With the flip-flop in place, the set input should be configured. And the output of the flip-flop defined. Note that Q can also be used for the output of the element. The second type of flip-flop available is a reset dominant or SR flip-flop. We will configure an SR flip-flop in Network 2. With the SR configuration, the first element will be for the set input to the flip-flop. This time we will drag and drop an SR flip-flop onto the line. And configure the reset element. As well as the output element. We will save and download the project and click the eyeglass button in the block menu bar to monitor the block. We will now monitor the state of the flip-flops with various inputs. We start with Network 1 which has a set dominant flip-flop. This means the set input is behind the reset input in the scan sequence and is therefore the dominant input if both set and reset inputs are at a high state. With a rising edge on the set input, the output goes high. The output remains high even with a low state at the input until a rising edge is detected at the reset input, at which point the output goes low. Now let's monitor the reset dominant flip-flop in Network 2. This device is reset dominant because the reset input is behind the set input in the scan sequence. As with the previous flip-flop, the output goes high with a rising edge on the set input and remains high even when the set input goes low until a rising edge is detected on the reset input. Now we will look at the effect on each of the two types of flip-flops when both set and reset inputs go high at the same time. With both inputs high on a set dominant flip-flop, the output goes high and stays high until the set input goes low and a rising edge is detected on the reset input. With the reset dominant flip-flop, the output remains low with both inputs high until the reset input goes low and a rising edge is detected at the set input. 